had he True wanted enough. to use Peanut. True enough. More actively on the starting roster, but I just, we don't know exactly what shape Peanut was in, and it, perhaps a lot of the scrims and stuff he got resulted in the form that we're seeing from Peanut right now. We will see Rise and MF come through as our first bands. Tigers now on the red side, so probably won't see that TF banned yeah. by them. Well, Gangplank and Lulu, the other two bands so far. Lulu has been pretty much banned every game we've seen so far. GP banned unless he's been picked. One thing I've been a little bit surprised, so we've seen Tom Kench fall completely through pick and ban all night. Yeah. Uh, again, though, I mean, we've seen a lot of Tom Kench with MF, like from SK Telecom. So True. when you don't have big AD carries involved, he is a little bit less valuable. Fiora will be banned this game. and. So I think that's smart. CJ's like, well, we would have to blind pick Quinn maybe, and you might just last pick Fiora. Yeah. So let's not do that. Lissandra, the final ban here. So no more TF bans. It means Callista could be first pick for the third time this evening. Such a, a priority and, and not one that we really expected. Yeah, I agree. There, there are other good AD carries right now in a meta where it is not really AD carry dominant. That is a bit of a surprise. It'll be Alistair and Kindred once again. In fact, I wow. personally think that either of those picks is higher priority than Callista right now. Yeah, and I think we've seen a lot of evidence to support that in the game so far this week, so I'm a little bit surprised that they let it get through. Man, Prey on Ezreal would be great. He is a really amazing Ezreal player, has been for a number of years, and it's great I'd in the love meta to right see, now. I'd love to see Corky as Tom Kench here. I really, really would. <laughs> It'll be exciting. Sikuro play the mid lane Corky and then hand it over to a blue build from Prey. And just last pick Tom Kench, why not? I think Ezreal's just perfect for Prey right now. I mean, it's such a strong pick. Blue build Ezreal is. He's also, like I said, strong. he's been in the top four of solo ah. queue and he's been spamming it nonstop. He's going to take the Callista counter pick, however, in Tristana and then couple that once again with Kuro blind picking. The LeBlanc, and after his last game, you can't really argue with that. He seems to, that he'll be able to play it. Of course, the Lux is available if Sky has that. We've seen Lux do very well against LeBlanc early in this season. Yep. But it seems like only certain players really up to the challenge of playing Lux at the moment. And Fly did have it banned against him in both games of the last series. Well, the final two picks over to CJ. We'll see what they decide to grab for their mid and top laner. Oh, they're going to have to blind pick top, so they may go for something very conservative like Gnar. That means they're going to need a little bit more damage out of a mid lane, and that'll be Victor, well, most likely. Nice and safe, at least. But yeah, very standard team fighting composition. Really yeah. nothing different than we might have seen at the World Championship this year. Good scaling, good laning phase, good wave clear, very very vanilla team composition here, can do most things well. Oh boy. And it could be the Mundo. We saw yesterday just how strong that Mundo <laughs> could get, win or lose. Quinn or lose, I believe you Quinn mean. Win or lose, it's exactly <laughs> what I meant, you're right. I don't know how anyone could ever mistake it for anything else. I don't think they're gonna be taking the Quinn here, even though she is a strong split pusher. Yeah. Although she could 1v1. Pretty much anybody on that CJ lineup. Well, we've said I don't think they're going to take the Quinn every time that the Quinn has been taken tonight, so I'm just going to say all bets are off, and it's going to be Nasus. <laughs> okay. Quinn, if you're going to be wrong, be wrong with style. That's right. Don't be a loser, be a quinner. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Smeb's philosophy is in this game, and he's going to take that Quinn, and... He should be able to farm up safely. Would you it, say it's quintessentially the it, it, it uh, is essence the, it of is what the, they need for victory? It is the quintessence of victory tonight. Uh, Quinn winning once. Actually, it hasn't been. It's been 50-50. All right, yeah. That's right. But Sasson didn't play at top. That was his mistake. <laughs> that's true. If only if only we would have had uh, Roar playing that one at top. It would have been fine. Or Soar, rather. Well, now, Smeb once again on the Quinn. And it just gives you such a immense amount of map control, and we saw how quickly Smeb could 
zip around, be in very unexpected places, turn fights on their head, and just consistently be a man up, even when he didn't have his teleport available. Yeah. They were racking up kills before Untara could even TP in and join the rest of the fight. So a very similar style of composition to the last game. Uh, basically identical, just switching out the AD carry Tristana for Callista. And otherwise, they're going to play that same skirmish style. It was super fun to watch in the last game. Was indeed, and we'll see if CJ can play things a little bit tighter. If they can just avoid losing so hard in the early game, maybe <laughs> they'll have a chance. If only but... CJ had avoided losing ah. so hard. They could well, have won. Hey, I speak the truth. If <laughs> CJ doesn't lose so hard, they'll win. Let's see if they can do that. Let's get in the game. Sorry, I think I became Scara for a second there. <laughs> We're having, back. Having a Scara moment. I, I was. <laughs> CJ versus. You're going to start playing Katarina next. Oh, no, never. Katarina support? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Well, it, from, all, from all indications, it looks like the Rocks Tigers are in a prime position to take a 2-0 in this series. Peanut had a fantastic first game, getting that MVP on Kindred. And he's back on the same pick again. Prey over on the Tristana now. Carrying a dragon. He will be abusing that dragon to <laughs> hurt his enemies. That is animal abuse. She literally carries a dragon around, squeezing it to have it shoot fire at things. Oh, it's really awkward, isn't it? Peta is very angry at you, Tristana. Yeah. Yordle Peta. Is there a, a Peta in <laughs> Summoner's Rift? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, would, maybe Maokai fights for nature. Maybe. Where would Hecarim fall into all that? You know, is it human rights or animal rights? <laughs> a little bit of Import, both. Important questions. Yeah. Centaurs are people and also animals, too. That's right. But, you know, what side do they prefer? <laughs> you know? Also leads to other interesting biological <laughs> questions, which we won't <laughs> get into. I mean, we know how centaurs behaved in Greek mythology. That's true. Well, that's how a lot of animals behave in Greek <laughs> mythology. Let's let's be fair here. It wasn't just the centaurs. One might describe them as rapey. <laughs> a little bit, maybe. There's a lot of gods turning into animals and doing that too, you know? Yep. A lot of weird stuff in Greek mythology if you ever uh, decide to read it. It's great. Very enjoyable. If you're into you that kind of more, thing, I guess. You can be more <laughs> cultured. Yeah. You'll understand all Culture. kind of literary references. Considering it really is the, the backbone of, of metaphor in uh, Western literature. Now it's uh, pretty much 4chan memes. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, constant evolution of human civilization. <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty conservative start for uh, both of these teams, as you can see. Just going to have the lane swap. And I would imagine a little bit of pushing. That's, that's about the most generic description of anything going on in the League of Legends you could ever have. Yeah, it looks like um, we did see, I would assume the Tigers try and call the lane swap in the top side because they would have wanted the Tristana Callista matchup and then the Quinn to be in the solo lane because they saw the blind swap coming through CJ last time that CJ calls their bluff, goes bottom, and that's it. That's all she wrote. Now we just have a lane swap again. And Probably this is going to look a lot like our last one, Doa. Probably. Are you ready for some pushing and then some recalling and then pushing on the opposite side? Yeah, and but I'm, I'm also ready for some aggressive moves from the Rocks Tigers to get some early kills and ooh, seize control of that game, you know? We can dream. Yeah, we, we got it last game. It wasn't so bad. It was an early uh, pickup on the stack there from Kindred, too. Check this out. See? This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, so trying no. to well, gank a LeBlanc with her W and flash up. <laughs> That's what you were talking about, uh, right? Well, it didn't turn <laughs> out like I hoped. It's bubbling, man. Come on. Yeah, you should probably take it off the stove then. Well, only if you're making, like, mulled wine, and then you should never boil it because that reduces the alcohol content. But if you're trying to boil it, then it's okay. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Tip. A little bit of mulled wine tip. Yeah, it, it's you're alcohol welcome. in general. You really don't want it to uh, get alcohol to boil. That's very true. Yeah. Not just mold wine, anything that you, you might be trying to eat. Up. I don't know what else you'd be eating. A uh, hot toddy? Oh yeah, well yeah, that works, yeah. 
didn't want to bore that either. <laughs> yeah. First turret taken by the Rocks Tigers, it's, or uh, I'm sorry, by CJ. By both teams? By both teams. I'm not sorry. I was just getting to it. I'm not sorry. I would never apologize for my casting. No. <laughs> it leads you down a dark path. <laughs> you won't be a casting apologist? No. Oh, Gorilla going to try and make a move here. All right. Well, Prey putting the hurt onto Untara. Bubbling's right there, though. Prey needs to be careful. There's some decent burst coming in. Gorilla gets there. Headbutt pulverize onto Bubbling and Peanut there to secure the kill for Prey. First blood over to the Rocks Tigers and Madlife whisks Bubbling to safety. Yeah, just coming around, get a pink board in the brush. They know that no one's there. Peanut already making the faster transition onto the strong side. And the quicker recall doing some work. And they have the AD carry up here. And when, you, when you're overextended like that without vision, you need to play further back. So they punish Untara. Speaking of playing further back, that's exactly what Sky is not doing right now. Kuro comes in, lands those chains, flashes up for Guess Sky. But I don't know if they're going to be able to catch him. Oh. Peanuts here, Gorilla's also here, and now Smeb coming down. They're gonna try to cut Sky off. Oh, there we go, Smeb with the flash. And that's gonna be <laughs> the first kill of the game. Meanwhile, somehow Prey decides to uh, die there. Have to wait and see what happened there. Bad life flash ignited him, and Utara <laughs> picked up the kill. So coming back for a little bit of revenge, Utara simply teleported right back into that lane after dying, and Mad Life stuck around. Meanwhile, Bubbling gonna try and solo uh -oh. Peanut. Uh-oh. And he will. Peanut overstaying his welcome <laughs> in the jungle there, getting a little bit over eager, I think. Yeah, no, literally Whoops. no help right there. Yeah. So let's see what happened to Prey. Oh, wow, Mad nice Life. Play. Mad Life play right there, guys. He's still got it. Yeah. So it gets him out of that rocket jump. Prey has nowhere else to go. Yep. Besides the grave. <laughs> and then right out of the grave again because. Uh -huh. In Summoner's Rift, you never stay dead. Well, that's nice. I like that. Do you? I do. Would you really want to live forever? I think so. I, I don't think you would. Well, I mean, you'd really only get bored after you've learned every language there is to learn and learned every skill really? there is to what, do. What about when humanity inevitably destroys itself and you're the only person left on the face of the earth? And you get to enjoy all that great nature, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? It'd be awesome. Tara, a little bit low, but they've got the 3v1 on Smeb. Nice play. Smeb tries to go in with the vault and manages to get the trade. Peanuts here now. and. Bubbling has to run for it. Gorilla trying to catch up. Without that turret, maybe they actually can. Peanut gets the Thunderlord's proc. Yeah, Bubbling takes the trip out on the Lantern. That well, I like this fights. lane swap. It's much more fun where the supports are actually active on the map and killing people. Yeah. You got to get aggressive. Got to get bloodthirsty. That's how you play League of Legends. <laughs> Smeb just going to TP down the mid lane, I guess. Save no minion turret, will be wasted. Not by Quinn. <laughs> so Kindred doing quite well already. Again, the Skirmisher Saber. But it's not too surprising we're going to see the identical same thing that we saw with nearly identically the same composition. Yep. A little bit more volatile this time around. CJ has been able to pick up a few kills. Yeah, still that lead going over, and they do have a uh, shot at this dragon right now, no TP up. They know where Antara is bottled up at that big minion wave, so take the dragon instead while Prey pushes out. Bubbling is going to find this. Uh, he doesn't have smite up. Now yeah. he does. Oh, almost got it, but not quite. Got killed, though. Succeeded in doing that. <laughs> I don't know why he would go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think the just like, what's, what's this guy doing? <laughs> yeah, his smite this crazy came, guy. His smite came up. He did get the smite off, but he didn't get the last smite. And no. all Gorilla did was just stand on Mad Life's lantern right there and deny him. Bubbling didn't have flash. Okay, if he had flash right there, maybe you go for that so you could flash out immediately afterwards. Yeah. But you definitely don't try that <laughs> <laughs> with four people with that high damage standing in the pit. Just gotta have hope sometimes, you know? <laughs> the YOLO swag spite that he was hoping <laughs> yeah. for. Hey, you know, we saw some like walk up YOLO swag smites work on Dragon last night, so. Oh, Sky needs to be careful. Nah, never mind. He doesn't. Playing CC Wars. Yeah. This map's coming in. 
They've called in air support. <laughs> the wings of victory coming right. in. Death from above. Oh, meanwhile, death in the bot lane. Bray rocket jumping away. Can they catch him? Not quite with that fate's call. They do lock up Gorilla, but Bray still autoing. Gorilla pushing, bubbling off. They've got mid lane people in the mid lane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We switched camera angles really fast there, guys. Peanut grabs himself a kill. Bray's going to pick one up to him unless somebody steals it. Nope. And so, across the board, four kills for the Rocks Tigers. Well, they killed Smab. Yeah. Four to one, I guess. <laughs> yes, four to one. Good in, job, CJ. In terms of those kills, uh, we did see Peanut show up at the right time and just pop his ult for safety's sake right at the end, give a little bit of a heal. And now Prey whittling away the tower, and he will get that it's quite not, soon as he squeezes his dragon. It's more of a hack than a whittle. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> take a look at this mid lane gank instead as Smeb comes yeah. around the side, does Smeb, no! die to an ignite in the turret, but the same time at that bottom lane, this one has turned around quite quickly. Uh, remember that the ult from Kalista was already used, yeah. so they didn't have much crowd control left over after that attempt didn't engage, and they only hit Gorilla with it. Peanut doing quite a bit of damage on this Kindred. Yeah, 2 one four already. Really getting a lot of work done. Prey picking up the rapid fire cannon there for a little bit more sieging. Dragon squeezing. Dragon squeezing. He's going to squeeze the dragon. Faster. You know what I mean. <laughs> and I mean he's going to take down turrets. What do you think I meant? Yeah, of course. Yeah, seriously. That's what happens. Dragons are very destructive to buildings. Right, especially if you're holding one and you're squeezing it at it. It's just one of the most awkward skins I've ever seen. It's so bad. It's so weird. <laughs> Poor dragon. Well, the rift, the uh, rift squatter has been found out. He's being evicted <laughs> yet again from the Baron's palace. That's right. It's like, yo, man, the Baron lives here. You can't, you can't just, you can't just sit here. You're not heralding anything. We already know the rift is here. And then he starts attacking you too. Once you're just trying to remove him. It's okay. They can handle it. They don't need to call the police. We don't need Caitlyn to show up and, you know, serve him. Uh, whatever you serve people to get them to stop squatting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been watching the thing going on in Oregon that closely. You have to yell when you release Sentinels. I know. You're like, go forth, head. <laughs> go and scout and yell back if you see anything. I see Peanut here eventually, and Kuro Maybe. still Thunderlord's dueling with Sky in the mid lane. Oh, yes. Wow, Peanut. Oh, Peanut, no. Gets grabbed by Mad Life. Played in as well. Praise there. Yep. Probably still stay alive. Meanwhile, bubbling in trouble again. Mad Life tries to flash ahead to make something happen, but instead it just dies. Utara shows up. It's quite the brawl right now, but Sky's there doing damage as well. Kuro manages to find the 1v1 against Sky. That's going to be a kill there. And the Tigers, again, come out ahead. They lose Peanut, but they get the three kills for one. Well, they traded Peanut right there. Peanut flashed out the back, but still fell. However, they invested a lot of resources into killing Peanut, and CJ simply is not playing around the Kindred ult particularly well in this series. They're over committing every time while Kindred ult is still up, and that is resulting in a lot of these lost team fights because the positioning of the Kindred ult has been such that they don't actually get very much value from it while the Tigers have gotten multiple heals and some really good survival because they'll flash out exactly as the Kindred ult goes down and deny any possible kills. And we've seen that both this game and last game. Well, and the Tigers correctly are just continuing to take advantage of it too. Yeah, rapid fire cannon first on Brand, it's a little weird, but all right, yeah. so Peanut going to get hooked, but he's not really worried. Remember, he has the Hex Drinker already, so he's going to be fine against the damage coming in from Bubbling. Pretty easily takes him out and then Pops that Kindred ult, only Mad Life getting benefit from it. Untara actually kicked out of the Kindred ult before he could get in there. And Kuro finds Sky on the side. There's not really much protection for him. So we do find ourselves 11 to 5 in favor of the Tigers. Well, Gorilla uppercutted that ward out of existence. It's the best way to clear wards. Yeah, I mean, if I was on the Rift, I'd be uppercutting a ward to get rid of it. Maybe a spinning kick, too. <laughs> have to do the 
get the lease in there. That's right. Do some kicks on some wards. I might dragon punch it. Ken style from Street Fighter, you know? I can like turn around in the air and my fist is on fire. Yeah, there's a game that Riot hasn't ripped off yet. <laughs> well, there's always time. <laughs> Another dragon taken by the Rocks Tigers. And Bubbling decides he wants to 1v4. I don't think that's a great idea, He Bubbling. died in outer space. Yeah, he did. Just a spider in the sky now. Ground control to Major Bubbling. <laughs> He hasn't made the grade, though, fortunately. <laughs> no, and More they're going to try and commit on. on this, but Peanut, again, is just very unkillable in that Kindred ultimate, Kindred although he does ult. get ulted at the end. Dodges out of the... Wow, no way. <laughs> yeah, very nicely done, at least for the moment. They are going to lose that fight. Well, if you call going even losing, yeah, I suppose. I, I suppose you're right, but praise very low. Smeb is oh, here. Smeb. They've called in air support again. Prey dueling with Intari. Here comes Smeb the wall. They oh. don't save Prey. Oh, they don't save Intari either, though. And now Mad Life on his own under the turret. An easy finish and an ace for the Rocks Tigers. And that's going to be a mid lane turret, too. I love watching this composition from the yeah. Tigers. It is so fun. Their willingness to continuously skirmish with this team composition and their ability to execute on it is very exciting to watch. It is pretty great. This is the kind of lane swap that we need, you know? <laughs> well, it's certainly more exciting than earlier this week. Yeah. Now the question is, what are we going to get when we get KT versus Tigers? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. The, the ultimate opposite ends of the spectrum styles. Well, let's watch this fight again. The grill goes in here, pops his ults immediately, but everybody gets caught in the gravity well. But they're in prime position right now to be Gnar ult. You can see the Mega Gnar about to come through. And Bray gets himself out and decides to take out Sky before piecing out between the turrets. However, <laughs> uh, there's just too much damage. Nice hop, though, to get away from the smash from Untara on Nar. Yep. The poor dragon. Oh, the humanity. The dragon. Oh, the draganity? <laughs> draganity? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the dragon ship. Oh, meanwhile, another fight as Peanut finds some death in the jungle. Yeah, Peanut, you can't do that when you don't have your ult available. That's Just got a little time. bit over eager there. That's the time not to be walking into the brushes. So this is more of the Peanut we're used to yeah. seeing. Yeah, he's gone a little bit solo queue here in game number two, but it's not going to stop the uh, Tigers from taking out the Rift Squatter yet again. He comes back. I mean, you can kill him, but yeah, he just returns from the grave for more squatting. Wow. And having an eyeball, a giant eyeball on your back, <laughs> seems like the most inconvenient. Especially when it place looks at the eyeball. sun, right? I know, right? It's always got to be squinting and stuff. Probably watering. Or closed. Yeah, or closed. As the wind just howls oh. by on top. Terrible. I mean, what's it really good for? Evolution would have taken that Rift Squatter out a long time ago. All Rift Squatters would have been blind. He was the last one left. Oh, goodbye, Kuro. <laughs> nice dodge. Wow, flash used for that too from Bubbling, attempting yeah. in a desperate bid to take out Kuro, who oh. just double double use, which means he quadra use away. Quadra double. <laughs> quadra Quad use. Quadra use. Yeah. <laughs> double distortion should be called the quadra use. That's true. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sky examines Windows 10. <laughs> Still not as good. To tile world. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's a tablet in Victor, face. That's how we know Victor's from the future. I guess so. He didn't want the upgrade. It just happened automatically. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing he could do. He was like, well, it was free. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> then again, I didn't ask for it. Oh, oh Gorilla, flash bulb rise onto Sky. Sky pushed back under his own turret, which weirdly is not where he wants to be right now as the Tigers pick up another easy kill. And it's more of what we saw in game number one, which is basically just the Tigers completely outplaying CJ Endes. Just, in, just player for player, you can see the difference in skill on this team. It's oh, yeah. pretty amazing. Atara has some Dodge, MR bro. now, and Whoop. he's going to miss Peanut and then explode. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. He's very small. He is indeed. Also, my favorite part of Peanut being on the Rocks Tigers is the size difference between Peanut and Prey, because Prey is enormous. And like, Peanut is so tiny. Peanut could literally be like a pilot that pilots a prey-sized <laughs> yeah, suit. That's true. 
Like he could have like a Gundam thing going on where he just like rides around inside prey. <laughs> it's true. Well, two inhibitors in quick successions for the Rocks Tigers as they look to close this one out. There goes Sky. The sky is falling, guys. But it's a good thing for the Tigers. Kindred all goes down. They try to pull Gorilla out of it. No such luck. And with that heal, everyone should be okay. Mad Life thrown in again. Smeb backs away. They do get the kill onto Quinn. But a quick response taking down Kramer. CJ fighting for their life. Kuro on the run. Public can repel over there. Prey squeezes his dragon in a deadly fashion. <laughs> it takes down Bubbling. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be able to get too much off of this, though, besides the two inhibitors and the many kills they have already racked up here at 20 minutes Jeez. into the game. You know, two inhibitors down before Baron spawns. Not bad. Yeah, 21 to 10, so 31 kills in a 20-minute period. This is my kind of game. I like it. I have to admit, Doa, this is what it looked like when Renegades tried to scrim the Ku Tigers while they were in Korea. <laughs> Well, I mean, you really can't uh, really can't blame them. The Tigers they look like a pretty good team. Yeah, maybe a World Finals top two, maybe. Not, not bad, maybe, yeah. Runners up, only lose SKT. This fight kind of proves it. I mean, CJ just really grasping at straws. It was a nice uh, Fates call, actually. Yeah. But unfortunately, Tigers are just extremely far ahead right now. And Peanut still at full HP throughout this. Meanwhile, Prey gets the shot. Lantern, not enough to save him. Bend it like Beckham. <laughs> Oh, life. found bad life again. I don't know if he wanted to hook oh, that. More like no life. Oh. Wah, wah. Hey, bubbling. Goodbye. Meanwhile, <laughs> Peanut takes a... We need this dragon buff, guys. <laughs> this is crucial to our victory. He's solo queuing out of control now. <laughs> Tara flashing, but really, what's the point? Getting eagles thrown at him. That's right. The eagle has landed. <laughs> I don't we have an Uncle Sam Quinn or Aunt Sam, I guess. Aunt <laughs> Sammy, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I know where the Tigers are going. They're going to an easy 2-0 victory as they start killing off CJ members in the fountain. Prey gets out of the fountain alive. Don't see that very often.